Hi everyone, welcome back to an episode of Tuesday Tips with Tabitha. What we really wanted to spend some time talking about today was actually going to be piggybacking off what we talked about last week, which is conversations. Last week we dove into the unified inbox, but this week we really want to go behind the scenes and talk about what you can do when you're setting conversations up. One thing specifically that I'd like to talk about is our chatbot automation. This is really going to define the experience that the contact is going to have or the soon to be contact is going to have when they click on your chatbot. So what you can do is you can choose to enable it or not, but the trigger is always going to be either when they click the chat widget or when they send their first message. So you can determine how you want that chatbot to react. Now you'll see here, very much like our other automations, you have the plus sign and you have a couple options here for ways that you can build this out and things that you can do. We're gonna give you a guided suggestion for how you can utilize it, but you have the opportunity to build it out in any way that makes sense for you. So you can look at your text block. Your text block is just simply going to be a message that you're sending to the actual contact or anonymous visitor. You can title it whatever you'd like as well so that you can clearly define what these steps are and then type your text here. You'll also see that you have an opportunity to determine if there needs to be an action or if, again, you want to react when a visitor sends the message. So when somebody sends a message in response to my text block, I actually want to create some type of form. So I can add a couple different fields here. If I'm looking to gather some information, you'll have an opportunity to save that step as well. Again, you can delete anything much like a regular automation and start to really define how you want this to be built out. If you want to ask a question, you can absolutely do that as well. So let's say our question is, what product are you interested in? You can either save this as a custom field, which you can create right here, or you can save it as one that you've already created. I have a product interest field already created, and you can see that all of the options that I have actually populate right here. So if somebody says leashes, bandanas, all dog gear or harnesses, which I'm actually going to move right here, I have the opportunity to send them down different paths. So we're going to say path C and we're going to say path D. So now you can then create additional steps based on what people are selecting, very much like real automations when you select custom field information. Maybe you just want to end it right here. I would say one recommendation is you truly want to keep this a modular type thing. You don't want to build this into a giant spider web. Think about exactly what you're trying to gather from the contact in your chat bot and then end this little automation right there. Anything else you can do in your actual automation builder in reaction to the individual selecting bandanas or the individual selecting harnesses. You have a lot of different opportunity to really build out the automation from there once you've collected what you need in the chat bot. If you've utilized this feature already, please let us know how you're acting on it and what you've built out. And if you haven't or you have any questions, absolutely throw them in the chat. We love to really be here as a resource and help you in any way that we can. But otherwise, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks so much.